a guy's breaking down a round between Hoffa Mendes and a black belt at his academy. His opponent's going to pull guard. Hoff is going to start looking for his grips that he normally would for long steps. And he's going to try a back step against his opponent's shin on shin guard. He moves around to the other side. His opponent's doing a good job of keeping a hook established there so that he can frame Hoffa out and manage the range. And as he starts to invert, Hoffa's going to jump through and start threatening with the crab ride Baron Bolo position. Now Hoffa wants to pull him over to the other side. So his opponent is heavily committing his hips trying to stop Hoffa from being able to pull him to the right side of the screen. So we see him driving his hips off to the left. What Hoffa's going to do is switch the control, bring his right arm over to grab the hips, so he can shut down the mobility of his opponent and drive with base generated with his left leg. We can see his opponent is generating base with the right leg, but because Hoffa's got dominant hip control and has his hips higher than his opponent, he's able to maintain that control and just roll right up into top position because his hips were higher from the beginning. Hoffa's going to hook with his left arm around his opponent's left arm as well. And as his opponent starts building the base and starting to turn around into him, Hoffa's going to chase the armbar position and then redirect into a different armbar variation. So here his opponent starts facing into him. Hoffa's trying to spin around faster while controlling up at the elbow here so that his opponent's arm is extended. Hoffa's trying to throw that left leg over top. But because his opponent builds the base here, we can see that now his opponent has turned facing Hoffa. Hoffa can no longer go around to the back. So he's going to go the other direction. And instead of throwing the left leg over, he's now going to continue controlling the elbow and throw his right leg over top. And with this, he's going to cause a lot of force of internal rotation into the shoulder. As well as by bringing that left foot through, he can hook at the hip and start to elevate. This forces his opponent to roll. And as his opponent rolls, Hoffa starts extending the arm outwards, making sure that there's no grip established to defend the position, and finishes with the armbar. So one more time, circles all the way through, spins through, carries that momentum, turning his hips down to internally rotate the shoulder to force the roll with the finish. So the opponent's going to pull guard again. He's actually going to do a good job here of disrupting Hoffa's base with a tripod sweep variation. Instead of a grip on the ankle, he's going to have a grip of the pants with that right arm. Extends out, tripod sweep, but Hoffa posts with his arm, manages to get right back up, and now he's looking to redirect with his leg drags. As his opponent inverts, he stacks him in this position that we keep seeing Hoffa always do. And then Hoffa's going to perform a nice little shin circle motion there to... Finish the leg drag. So here, basic leg drag, redirecting with his arm, using it as a frame to access the leg as a lever to push it outside. But his opponent's doing a good job having a grip on Hoffa's sleeve here, framing him out. And so he's able to manage the range and perform a little bit of a high leg. Hoffa works to shove the ankles down towards his opponent's butt. So as his opponent extends there, Hoffa's able to redirect him off to the side. And now he has beaten the left leg by pinning up high over by the hip. And we can see how his opponent's leg is out past Hoffa. He can no longer effectively manage the range. As his opponent drives off of Hoffa and tries to invert, Hoffa continues this control, gripping at the pants to try and bring the hips flat to the mat. If he can get the hips flat, he'll be successful. Now watch his opponent's leg here. The, le the right leg is going to just start slipping out. Because it's no longer controlled, his opponent's going to start being able to hook that leg around and threaten with leg entanglements little shin circle. Now Hoffa's got it back to the other side, stapling it down to the mat, so that now he's in this finished leg drag position. We can see the opponent's hip, his right hip is now against the mat. He's flat and he's no longer mobile. And this is where Hoffa is now going to finish the pass and advancing his attack. Hoffa's going to build around to the other side. His opponent's going to do a good job once again facing back into Hoffa. And so Hoffa performs a quick windshield wiper movement to the other side. Working from this knee on belly, opponent does a great job consistently of trying to build back into base and actually manages to get completely inverted again and facing Hoffa. Hoffa's always using that grip on the pants to try and redirect to flatten the hips off to the side or make them fully invert. And his opponent is able to completely regard. Hoffa throws a super quick leg drag here. Steps over. By stepping all the way over, he now brings his shin against his opponent's right foot up by the toes pushing it in. His opponent now needs to make a massive guard retention movement to respect this. And as he tries to turn back the other way, Hoffa tricks him and goes back to the right side. So he fakes with the left to then go to the right. 
Hoffa easily breaks that grip on the pants by using his shin. And now he's just looking at keeping his opponent's hip down to the mat and moving upwards closer to the shoulders or a north-south position because his opponent has flexible legs and has really good guard retention. Here, as his opponent starts to really try and bring the legs up, Hoffa's going to make a hell of an awesome move here and roll through with a rolling back attack to solidify back position. So Hoffa's going to grip his opponent's pants and push the leg down. Now he has a lever, and this gives him lever-based rotational control so that he's able to keep his opponent's hips pointing this direction towards the screen. He needs the opponent's hip angle to stay exactly where it is while he brings his right shin in. He brings right shin up against the hip and starts getting his right foot ready to be able to get in behind the knee pit. So with the help of his left shin, he brings his right shin in behind the knee pit of his opponent so he has that direct lever to the hip. Now he can push away to the right side to expose his opponent's back. And so here, Hoffa has rotational control of his opponent. So two, with that hook of the leg, he stops his opponent from being able to turn to the left. And by controlling the left arm here, he stops his opponent from being able to turn over to the right. So he's got rotational control both directions of his opponent, so that now he's able to slowly climb up and take the back without ever risking losing any of that control. So now he's going to start working for, looking for the choke. He moves to the body triangle because it's a stronger form of control. Doesn't give you points in the IBJJF because they're stupid, but this is the better form of control. And he chooses to go through to the arm bar because his opponent is demonstrating very strong choke defense. His opponent manages to get the shoulders up over top of the right leg. Hoffa builds the base with the right elbow to bring the right leg over and finish the arm bar. So right here, Hoffa manages to break the grip off of his opponent's gi so the arm is free. That's good, but he doesn't have the shoulder immobilized. And so if he was to try and go for the arm bar right now, his opponent's going to escape. What Hoffa's going to do is work to build up onto his right elbow while controlling his own gi collar so that his opponent's unable to get the arm back. And by building up the base on this right elbow, he now has the ability to move his hips back and bring his right leg over top to control posture while he still has the left arm isolated to finish the arm bar. You never see someone like Hoffa Mendez lose a position while going for a submission because they understand the importance of maintaining control through the entire process.